Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of July. So keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Uh, bits and pieces may be. Take what resonates and leave the rest, and the timing is fluid. The date that you watch this, it may not be happening. This is a preview. I get, I get, I get some people that comment you know, under reading, so this isn't for me. Well, it hasn't happened yet. Okay? So, let's see what happens. Let's see what is going to happen. Perhaps, if this reading is for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Community. Interesting, because I, I should have just said it. I was seeing the Three of Cups. I was, I was seeing the Three of Cups, and I, but I, I first, I, okay, first I saw it reversed, and then I saw it upright, so it was like, there's a flip-flop, there's some sort of flip-flop going on, so, which is interesting, so you guys may be um, socializing with somebody new, They're, or the person that you're dealing with is, okay, this is like a third-party situation, it, it could be, it looks like it is. Somebody, this is having fun, it's socializing, it's partying, it's receiving gifts, going to a celebration of some sort, having fun, uh, maybe having drinks or having dinner with somebody, but I do see this as a third party situation, so it feels like there's a choice between two people here. Um, you may be communicating with somebody on social media. It doesn't have to be. It could be a dating site, through a dating site. Somebody, There's definitely three here. And three can sometimes be a crowd. There could be some jealousy. Uh, there should could be a competition. Okay, it looks like there is some sort of competition that is going on as well. Um, there's definitely some socializing. Um, I think there's a third party here. There's socializing and having fun and maybe maybe um, getting together. There could be a get together, an upcoming get together with somebody that you met on a dating site or social media. What do we have for Aquarius? We need one more, please. March. Something to do with the month month of March. Now, March could be um, last March or an up the up in March that coming March two thousand. Um, 21 or this could be uh, uh, somehow the month of March is prominent now you could be dealing with a person that is born in the month of March so it could be an Aries or a Pisces you uh, may may have met somebody back in March and it may have been March from years ago who knows could have been last March could have been whenever or very, March 2021 is going to be, be very prominent. So the month of March is is uh, important for you. August, you got two of them. Interesting, not very often do we get two months in a reading. So something to do with August. Now August is coming right up. August is coming right up. So this could be the upcoming August or, you know, again, same kind of thing as March. So the month of August is very prominent for you. Now, this could be a Leo or a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. Um, but this is also uh, summertime as well. Uh, this is uh, end of winter, spring. Um, but anyhow, um, month of August is prominent as well. Ooh, fair woman. Fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So there is a going to be a fair woman that is affecting your life this month. Okay, it's gonna, this is July. This reading is not for August and it's not for March. Those those cards come out to let you know that those are there's something prominent about March and there's something prominent about August. 
okay? But this is there is a fair blonde, white, or gray-haired woman that is going to be affecting your life in July. Wealth, oh my goodness, a wreath. I said wealth though, so maybe this has something to do with wealth. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. So there could be a, there's some sort of loss. Um, and there's sadness over a loss. Broom, new home, new attitude. So there's, there's, uh, there could be an upcoming celebration, you know, getting together with your friends, needing to let your friends help you because that's another meaning of that card. You may need support from your friends, just saying. I feel like there's going to be some sort of loss and I'm not sure if it is involving a woman. It appears to be involving a woman, but, um... doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be now this could be a friend that is going to help you um, because this is a friend so this could be a friend that is going to help you in some way um, there's going to be a new home by the looks of things or this is what does a broom do it cleans up things it it sweeps things out okay it's it's a it cleans it, so something is going to be cleaned out of your life you're going to be cleaning up a situation and it has to do with a this woman now sorrow over a loss it doesn't have to be uh, death okay it could just be a separation all right um, and this could be you having fun and celebrating some sort of freedom from this woman maybe you're breaking free or you're dealing with a partner that is breaking free from this woman okay there's something going on here in regards to either a Virgo or Pisces, I think. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo. Um, there's going to be, and it's interesting that I put this right over here, change in residence. Maybe the plans started in March and, you know, something changed in March. There's something that happened in March, and by August, it, it actually happens, or something like that. There's some sort of getting get-together here as well. This person may be helping you to heal, like I said, over a loss. Four of Pentacles. Magician. So this is taking action to bring success, letting go of the old to bring in the new, which makes sense. Now this is obsessed, somebody is trying to hide something. They may be hiding money, so be careful. Somebody may be hiding money, burying money, trying to hide money. And I don't know, maybe it's this fair woman. So this woman right here. Uh, you need to really uh, pay attention. This is pay attention for sure. Take action. Um, now this is a yes answer to a question. Manifested, you've manifested something. Getting a gift, receiving something that you deserve. You are going to receive something that you deserve. This is equal reciprocation. This is definitely some sort of gift. Somebody may have been uh, hiding something to give to you and they're going to give it to you now. That could be the case. They, they may, may have, maybe it was a surprise. It could be a surprise. Um, now this is receiving something. And usually it's a gift. And this can, you know, that can be a gift as well. It can also be community support of some sort. Support from your community. The Six of Pentacles is, is, uh, generosity you're gonna be receiving something something that you asked for you manifested something you're gonna be receiving something that you asked for it's gonna make you happy okay that is happiness if i can i know it says community but i i see that as a three of cups i'm sorry i do so you're gonna be receiving something's gonna make you happy 
And it has something to do with this woman. Could be money. Could be a job offer. Maybe you were scrounging for money and you were, you know, going to, to the, uh, you know, getting to the bottom of your bank account. You're going, dipping into your savings and you've been waiting for some money. Well, there could be some money coming, just saying. Like, that's what this is about. Um, this is a payout or a pay increase or a uh, inheritance or some sort of money or something that is coming that is going to bring balance to your life. This is an increase in resources. Your resources are about to get better in some way. I think it's an increase in money. I think that you are very skilled at whatever you do. Put it that way. Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is very kind, very gentle, very loving, very caring. Could be a psychic, could be a healer, somebody that is very sweet and delicate and romantic, a counselor or a nurse that is going to be giving you something. And this is tender, loving care. So you, somebody's going to be getting some tender, loving care from a very, I feel like it's a very kind individual. I feel like it's a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. could be a Gemini. It could be a Gemini. Um, but there's a choice. This is your choice. The Two of Pentacles, you got to make a choice. This is juggling, going back and forth, and you can't have both. Got to choose one. So you're going to, and, and this is a man or a female. Okay, you are you can't have both. You, you need to make a choice. So, and whether this is job related or romance related, there's, there's a need to make a choice here. Somebody's going to be let go. So it could be it could be the boss that is making a choice. Whatever this is, I feel like you are you're either the one making the choice or somebody else is choosing you. They're choosing you over the third party. That's what it looks like. Somebody's about to and and it, and you know, I don't know if what's going on here, but somebody is about to get the love that they deserve after not receiving it. Seriously, after experiencing a loss, okay? Seriously. Somebody has experienced a loss, now they're about to get the love that they deserve. They manifested it, they asked for it. Eight of Swords, there's been an obstacle in the way. Somebody was staying in the safe zone. They were afraid to step outside of their comfort zone. Maybe they were staying because of money, right? Because of the assets or whatever. But I feel like there's some sort of freedom here. There's Now there's a freedom to go in another direction. Somebody was confined. They were confined. Um, and they couldn't move forward. They couldn't because they were stuck. They were stuck in a troubled situation that they chose to stay in. They chose to stay in it, but now they're taking action and they're to bring success. They're shedding that old situation because they have a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity for of support coming in. This is somebody that is going to help you to heal over a loss. There was an imbalance. There was, somebody was dealing with an individual that didn't give equally to a relationship or to the partnership. You know, it was a one-sided situation. Situation, but now there's somebody coming in that is very kind and gentle and loving and caring and whatever and it is going to give. It's going to give a lot of love, tender loving care and affection. It's going to happen very, very fast. This is moving forward. Uh, could be dealing with a cancer. But I think it is definitely a water sign or it's a Gemini. It's a water sign or a Gemini. I feel like um, this is moving. Somebody is moving or they have moved. They've moved away. There's moving here. Moving in a new direction. Getting in the driver's seat. Taking a ride. Going someplace. Uh, letting go. Letting one person go. Going after what you deserve. This is finding the willpower and the determination to focus on the future and move forward. Okay, this is self-discipline, and this is discipline as well. So we're having somebody that is finding the discipline to let go of some sort of obsession, perhaps. Somebody was stuck in a situation that was troubling them and causing them turmoil and angst and anxiety and depression and just was not making them happy, and they were staying there because of the financial 
assets or what they would have to give you know they would have what they would have to pay out to to move on that's why they were staying but i think now it's about doing whatever it takes to let that go even if it means giving the fair share it's like i'll give you your fair share to be free because there's freedom here you know and i think in the past it was like you know i don't really want to give that much i you know it's all about the money or whatever but i think there's some sort of shift here where it's like it's a, more about love now it's more about happiness it's there's equal it's like somebody you know giving out what you know equal splitting it it's like a i feel like there's going there's some sort of split here anyhow um Hang hey, man, this is definitely breaking free. I know that there's some sort of freedom here. I know that there is. Somebody was refusing to let go. They were struggling to let go because they were obsessed. They were obsessed with control. They were obsessed with things. There's definitely hiding something as well. Somebody's been hiding a third party. They've been hiding what they've been talking, who they've been talking to. Um, and I think that now it's just like, you know, I'm ready to let this go. I feel like that's what it is. I'm ready. I'm ready to experience love. I, I'm ready to just let go. That's what I see. That is what I see. It's just like somebody was fighting their inner self. They were. And it's because they, in order to move, because moving, I see moving here. In order to move, you know... It may have been an embarrassment. It may have, maybe, maybe it's an embarrassment to the people in the town or to the community. So I think, I, I think, or an embarrassment to the ego. Okay, somebody's e was letting their ego get in the way because they were worried about what everybody was gonna say in the arena and the in the area. You know, the friends and the family and the community. What was the community gonna say if they followed their heart? But I think that's over now because I think it's just like you know, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make myself happy. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to bring happiness to my life to go after what I deserve. It's like there's a shift in mindset here. I think that we have an individual that confined, confined themselves to a desperate situation where things weren't getting better and they weren't getting better for a while. Um, there is some sort of hiding something, whether it's hiding money or hiding assets or something. Uh, not wanting to give assets. Somebody that was very greedy, very selfish. That may have been a reason why somebody was staying in a situation because they didn't want to split up the assets or something, whatever it is. Um, and if it's not that, it could be, if it's, this could be job related. It could definitely be job related. Um, but this was struggling to let go, but moving away. So somebody is moving away from an unbalanced situation. And I think that they're moving into something more emotionally successful where they're going to be taken care of. You know, they're really, 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 really going to be taken care of. Um, there's new friends here. There's new community. There's... Um, oh my God. A new commitment by the looks of things. This is extreme happiness, okay? There is a new commitment here. Somebody is is going to be going down a new path, uh, traveling with somebody, I think, as well. There could be some an, a, a vacation that is coming or traveling, um, deepening a bond. I think it is with somebody new. I do. I think it is somebody new where there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, when I see two doves, it's soulmates. I think there is a, and there's a new, I feel like there's a new soulmate connection here that has developed, but I feel that um, there's been so, uh, an obstacle in the way. But I, I also see that somebody is taking action to uh, follow their heart and move in a new direction. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here quite a bit. And um, Gemini. New home. This is moving. Somebody is moving. They're moving to a new home. Moving towards a new uh, commitment. And remember, remember, this is new attitude as well. And that's why I think there's a shift as well. Somebody is coming in that is going to help heal they're going to help 
to heal a situation. This could even be a healer, a nurse, a aide, a nurse's aide. I don't know who it is. Maybe it's you. This is this is somebody that is very kind that is coming into play here. There is going to be a choice to let go. There is. Somebody is making a choice to go after what they deserve. After stalling, after procrastinating. There's going to be socializing and communicating with a perfect match, okay? This Four of Wands, a perfect match. It's 1111. This is manifestation. This is manifestation. You have manifested something uh, very passionate. And this is like calling in a soulmate, and I consider these doves uh, soulmates. So there is a soulmate connection here, but it is uh, moving. It's moving very. I think it's gonna it's gonna progress. I think you're gonna make progress in that area. But I do. There is a decision. There's a choice that is being made. Somebody's being dropped. And it's been a struggle to let go. It has been a big struggle to let go. And I think the only reason it was such a struggle to let go was because of the money or the assets. But if that's the new attitude. If there's no desire to be there, it's time to go. So anyway, I feel like this month you are probably going to be focused on moving in a new direction and letting go of your ego and following your heart. Um, there is somebody here that is perfect that um, you have probably have been reluctant to move towards. But I do see you making progress with that person. Good luck.